next I'd like to look at material mapping. Now, um, when we export from DAS, uh, as you should have seen before, we get um, a number of different maps. So uh, we've got arm maps here, we have eyes, oh, these are the corneas actually, eyelashes, eyes, face, legs, mouth, uh, torso. So if we look at our materials in uh, Blender here, let's pick the skin. Oh, actually I'm still in edit mode for my armature. Let's come back out into object mode. Um, and let's pick the skin and flick the material tab. Um, let's just expand this and you'll see there are bazillions of materials, more than we actually have textures for. Um, this might be useful, but for us, I want to rationalize these and get as few materials as possible. Okay, uh, it's pretty easy to do. Um, what you'll find is a lot of these materials share the same textures, so we can combine them. So for example, the face, if you have a look down here, you can see it's the same texture set as the lips, as the ears, and as the eye socket. You can see something like, um, the torso here if I click the torso you can see it's a different texture set so what I'm going to do I'm going to go into edit mode I'm going to deselect everything with there and I'm going to pick let's have a look uh, the eye socket which is actually if I press select that will select all the vertices in the eye socket that's this little corner piece um, we said ears let's select those so you can see that's added them to my selection the lips I'm going to select those and the face select those so all of that I want to be mapped just to this face material so if I hit assign all of those vertices are now assigned to this one material um, so if I go back out of edit mode I should now be able to delete the lips the ears and the eye socket if you did that beforehand, these would all turn white as I deleted those materials. So by combining them all into this one face material, they've retained their textures, which is great. So uh, let's do the same with the rest. So back into edit mode, hit A to deselect everything. Um, I'm going to do the same with the teeth. Okay, first I'm going to pick the face, I'm going to select it, I'm going to come in here and hit H just to hide it so I can see that I am selecting the teeth okay so now I'm going to hit, hit uh, A to make sure I have nothing selected pick the mouth select pick the teeth select and I'm going to assign these to um, the mouth material brilliant if I hit tab now I can now delete this teeth material and again tab we should see everything is now assigned correctly so they're all on that one material. Um, I'm going to hit Alt H just to unhide the face. So that was just so I could see what was going on in there. Um, there's only a couple more I need to do. So let's do the uh, let's do the legs first. This has been split into toenails and legs, all on the same material. So let's fix that. So again, make sure I have nothing selected. Toenails select, legs select. I'm going to apply them both to legs. Assign legs. Again, out of edit mode and delete the toenail material. Same for the arms. So that has fingernails, I believe. So back into edit mode. Deselect everything. Uh, fingernails. Select. Arms. Select. And assign. So assign everything to the arms. Again, back out of edit mode. Fingernails. Delete. Um, I'm going to put this eye moisture and cornea together. This, that's this horrible white film that is over the front of our eyes. This actually comes in really useful later on, but for now, um, we're just going to make it disappear in Blender. So again, same procedure. Make sure you've got nothing selected. I'm going to pick the eye moisture and the cornea and assign that to this cornea. Again, delete the eye moisture. And finally, we've got this set of eye textures here. Um, I'll use the same map, so let's combine them. So, again, make sure nothing's selected. Select the pupils, the irises, and the sclera. And we'll go back to the pupils, 
and assign them to that. I'm now going to delete these two and there we are we've got the minimum number of textures I'm just going to change this pupils just rename this to eyes okay um, just to get rid of this spooky zombie effect I'm going to go to the cornea material and I'm going to go down to transparency and just drop that alpha right down there we go so the object will still come out um, and we can use that once we're in unity but he you now looks a little less freaky um, we could do something with the transparency on the eyelashes but really it's more trouble than it's worth okay so there we are we have now rationalized our materials so our Uma is now made up of what have we got there seven different materials brilliant so next we're going to have a look at the morphs that we've got and once again I'd like to say a big thank you to my patrons for making this possible uh, if you would like to support me, feel free to click that link at the end of the video. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.